Hi friends, how are ya? Welcome back to my channel for a Monday, Tuesday vlog. Max says hello. He'll probably bark at any point, but um, I'm actually currently on my way back to Austin. No, I was not planning to leave Austin, but yesterday um, was a weirdly out of nowhere, very hard day for me. So I'll explain uh, more a little bit later, but I ended up on a whim canceling all of my plans yesterday and going to my parents' house and I stayed the night. And I'm now currently rushing back to Austin because I had brunch plans this morning and I didn't want to cancel more plans because it's important for me to like see people and build community and, and I truly hate canceling plans on people. So um, I think my car just finished fueling up and we are going to try to get back to our apartment drop Max off, unpack, and then head on over to brunch. So I just wanted to say hi while I had this moment and this opportunity. Like I said, I'll, I'll fill you in on more things later when I'm not running late, but I love you. I think it's gonna be a good vlog. I'm feeling better today. We made it back to Austin and I was quickly unpacking all the food that my mom sent me home with, like pulled pork and a gluten-free bun for a pulled pork sandwich for dinner tonight amongst other things and went to go pick up packages real quick this big one is a mystery and my dad did say keep your eye out from for something from amazon for me a couple of these things are little diy projects i want to do later in this vlog but i'm going to quickly run some dry shampoo through my hair head out to brunch and we can open those when we get home I am home from brunch and I was just thinking that it's one of those days, it's kind of paradoxical, I don't know if you have these days, where you're simultaneously like, I have done so much today and it's 1.30 and then you're also like, where has the day gone? It was flying by. <laughs> I had something that I am incredibly excited to share with y'all. I'm sure you've heard me talk about CBD before. I've actually been taking CBD daily for five months probably to help with my stress and anxiousness and just those types of feelings and equilibria is what I take every day and I am working with them on today's video. I worked with them in a video recently and I have had such great feedback from y'all. So I'm really excited to share that they're actually increasing my promo code right now for a little bit. It's huge. I'm very excited about it. My code is McKelJancy50. That used to get you 15% off if you want to buy their products one off, but for right now, they're actually increasing my code to get you 30% off products and they have a subscription model. So this will get you 50% off your first month subscription and then 20% off every month following on the things that you subscribe to. I've had some messages from some of y'all that have genuinely made me emotional. Um, for example, one person messaged me saying that she's kind of dealt with pain and it's really affected her sleep and she went ahead and tried equilibria and it was the first time she slept through the night and just hearing how it has positively impacted y'all's lives has made my heart so happy because it's positively impacted my life as well i think y'all know that i was struggling a lot with stress and stress was then flaring some other health things that i was going through and so i was doing anything in my power to try to reduce stress and the thing that i decided to try was cbd let's be honest like that's kind of a scary world as a consumer because it feels so big and unknown and there's so many terms so i put forth a lot of research before committing to a cbd brand and i love equilibria for a lot of reasons they're um, women founded and specifically formulated for women and their standards are incredibly high you can read about the farm in colorado that everything comes from and it doesn't have gmos or pesticides or herbicides or any like fillers i think a lot of cbd brands have just fillers of things you don't need so this is like a very clean pure CBD and I notice a huge difference in the way I feel when I take it. Something I did realize that I wasn't necessarily doing correctly at the start was CBD works best when you take it like the same time, same dosage every single day, kind of like a vitamin. And ever since I started doing that, I noticed even more benefits, especially after a couple months of doing that. And that's why the subscription model is really handy because you actually save money every single month and then you don't run out so you can stay on a routine. But I know that it's kind of a new 
world for some people. So highly recommend taking advantage of my 30% off discount to try it for a month before subscribing. My absolute favorite product is the Daily Drops. They have a lot of great products. Like my mom loves the balm, which is like a topical product. I like this because you can kind of control dosage. Going on a tangent here, but something that Equilibria also does is you can meet with a dosage consultant to figure out exactly what your routine should be. But since it's a dropper, you can take more or less every single day. Um, I take one full dropper a day, which is a milliliter. Some days, like yesterday, I actually took a little bit extra because I was feeling extra anxious just to help myself you know feel a little bit more calm so this is my recommendation i also love their calming melts because i keep those in my purse and um, they're really easy to travel with those are the two that i use most frequently love them um i'll have all that information linked down below if you want to take a look at it and i guess i guess it's time speaking about yesterday and my anxiousness and my sadness to kind of fill you in on what happened yesterday and how I got to where I was. But first I'm gonna take this under my tongue real quick because I actually haven't yet today. For sure check it. I gotta let this shit for a minute. <laughs> so yesterday was my day off. Um, I've been taking lately like Sundays and then either Wednesdays or Thursdays as a day off, which has been weird because I've been vlogging Friday, Saturdays pretty consistently. So I didn't like really vlog yesterday, but I really needed someone to talk to, so I chose y'all. I picked up the camera to talk to y'all. And yesterday was weird because I felt like I really had a shift in my heart and like wasn't sad and hadn't been sad for a couple weeks. Of course, I'd been dealing with feelings of like overwhelm and honestly hurt bitterness, but like pure sadness wasn't one that I had felt in a little bit. But yesterday I was randomly extremely sad and I think part of it had to do with I had previously watched some vlogs from a few months ago in California and they didn't really affect me so I was like cool like I can handle that and then I watched a vlog from a couple of years ago in California back when I was more of a newlywed and for some reason that affected me so much worse I think it was also because within the vlog um, Jeremy and Kaylise our best friends were in it too and I kind of had the thought and the realization that the four of us will never hang out again as a group and like that was my life was the four of us hanging out as a group thinking about it I'm like gonna cry again because um, that group dynamic was really really special so I will cut to me talking to you guys yesterday um, because I really needed to talk to somebody and I didn't want to have a phone call conversation with anybody. <laughs> so uh, I picked up my vlog camera and, and here's me yesterday. It's a Sunday morning and um, I actually needed to leave for church like five minutes ago, which Sundays take a lot of intentionality and effort to still go to a church where you like don't know who you're gonna sit with and you know, it. It's definitely stepping outside of your comfort zone. So maybe that's why I'm just a little more feeling things on Sundays. I was really proud of myself because it had been literally maybe over two weeks since I've been sad. And every time I think like, oh my gosh, I'm finally over that phase, something comes back up. And it's so frustrating to not have like a clear path to not be like, oh good, I'm finally done with feeling sad, I'll never feel sad again. Even if I had a few good weeks, it's still frustrating that it can come back. This one was my fault for watching a video from two years ago on my ex's birthday. And I don't know why it made me so sad. I think it's cause I look at that Mikel who tried really hard to be loving and supportive. And I kind of feel bad for her. I don't know why I feel bad for her, but I look at her and I'm like, girl, you're trying so hard. And I don't know why it makes me really sad to see sometimes. And now I just kind of don't want to go to church. <laughs> These are things that I like, I don't want to like, call someone I know in real life and tell them because I don't want to commit to like a 45 minute conversation talking about it. I just want to like feel it and then not talk about it anymore. Um, which is why sometimes it's best and healthiest for me to just talk to you guys about it because I can say it in two minutes and process how I'm feeling and then move on with my day instead of be asked a ton of questions about it and sit in it for longer than I have to. But I feel like I really thought I was over this feeling. It still creeps up from time to time. That freaking sucks. <laughs> freaking sucks. 
I feel like I should be better by now, you know? I feel like I should be over it by now. <laughs> it's been a couple months, I should be done with it. I don't know why I'm putting that pressure on myself, but I definitely am. <sighs> Which is also stupid and unhealthy and I recognize that 100%. <sighs> I tried really hard on my makeup this morning. That also sucks. <laughs> I was cute 10 minutes ago. <laughs> 15 minutes later and I still haven't left. Church starts in 10 minutes <laughs> and it's not super close. <laughs> I have plans today with other people and I just kind of just want to cancel everything. Which I'm terrible at canceling things. I feel so guilty about ever canceling anything. So instead I'm just sitting here trying to figure out what to do and now I'm gonna miss church. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> So even though it didn't really make sense and I hate canceling on people, I did end up canceling on those friends and I felt terrible because I've only canceled one other time since living in Austin and it was on that same group of three girls and I just feel really bad about it. But I'm very glad I went to Bernie. I have B-roll of just some of the stuff we did. I took a couple clips on my phone. Like we drank coffee on the back porch. We played, of course, um, Scrabble, and then we played a game called Sequence. We had the fire going. We watched some HGTV, and my mom made pulled pork sliders on gluten-free buns, and it was very, oh, I took a nap. I took a nap with Max. It was very peaceful, and it was exactly what I needed, and um, it was healing, honestly, and I'm so thankful to be near my family. I actually couldn't even get a hold of them when I was deciding if I should go down there or not, so, because they were in church. So I just drove and like halfway through my drive, they called me back and I was like, hey, I'm on my way to you right now. I've had a hard morning. And they were like, oh my gosh, we were actually thinking that we were gonna see if you wanted to come take a hike with us or something halfway today. So this is perfect. We have nothing going on and I'm so thankful for them. And I'm honestly proud of myself for not putting the other people around me first. Like it did not sound good to hang out with friends that day. Um, and I think old Mikkel, people pleaser Mikkel would have been like, absolutely, I cannot cancel on people because then they're not gonna like me. I just want to include real moments because I genuinely thought I was over the sadness and I very clearly am not. And I know I even said in one clip, it's been a few months, I feel like I should be over this by now, but that's, that was just me and my emotional state and I very much recognize and realize I, it's normal for that feeling to just come out of the blue sometimes and hit you. But my sadness in my heart is feeling better. Um, so that's my little catch up from yesterday. So we have this huge thing to open up, but a couple other Amazon packages as well. This was a $4 tanning mitt. Cause I realized I left mine in California. Let's see how this feels for $4. Oh, for $4, this feels pretty good. This, I think, is probably the DIY project I want to do with y'all. It is. Okay, I have kind of like an online friend that we just DM back and forth a couple times, and her name is Chandler Isaac. You should follow her on Instagram. Actually, you should follow her on TikTok. I think she just hit a million on TikTok. And she, probably one of her most viral reels was this hack. This is $17 on Amazon. And these are little like LED lights on a strip. And this is a motion sensor that attaches to it. She attached it underneath the vanity in her bathroom. She has basically the exact same layout as me. And it makes it look like a high-end hotel slash if you go to the bathroom in the middle of the night, you don't have to turn on the lights because it works as like a night light situation, but looks super sophisticated and cool. And the lights in my bathroom are very harsh and I have lately been turning into a middle of the night peer. So I think that this would be really fun to try to set up together. Let's try to do that today. And last but not least, I think I gotta lay this down. The only thing I could think of is maybe it's bike related since my dad got me the bike. Oh, <laughs> yay! These are shoe shelves. Stackable shoe shelves. Thanks, dad. He took measurements of my shelves and he was like, if you stack like a second shelf in these, you could fit so many more shoes. <laughs> like we have two house projects. We could organize my shoes and then do the little light situation. How fun. So today technically is a holiday. I'm filming this on the 17th, but I had some work things come through slash I need to kind of get prepared for my meeting tonight. So I'm gonna take an hour or two, get some work done, drink some caffeine, 
and I will catch back up with you guys when I cross a few things off my to-do list. When I sat down to do work, in my mind, I was thinking, okay, I have about three hours until my meeting, so I'll do a little bit of work, and then I'll do something fun with the vlog. And I looked up, and my meeting's starting in 12 minutes. So I think that means I was on a really good productive workflow. This meeting I am really nervous about and I cannot wait to get it over with. I think I will feel so much better when it is done. To the best of my understanding what this is, is I think I have to file taxes two separate times. One corporate tax filing, one personal tax filing, and corporate has to be done first. So that's what we're doing right now. Cannot wait to get it over with. But I'm gonna see y'all on the other side of this meeting when I think I will be a much less stressed Mikkel because this will be done for a whole year and I won't have to do this again for a whole year. It's like a gift. <laughs> okay, it's 7 p.m. Just wrapped up all those meetings and feel good to have it done, but she gave me so much homework. Like, look for this form and this form, and I need you to break these expenses between this month and all this kind of stuff. And I just can't have stuff like that hanging over my head. So this is my plan for tonight. I'm going to pick up the house so I can focus and then get that done tonight. Cute little montage of me getting my life together. Good morning. I'm back where I ended last night, but this is so unlike me. Um, I typically, my brain stops working after like 6 p.m., but I was on a roll last night and I normally go to bed pretty decently early, but I didn't go to bed till almost 1 a.m. And then I didn't set an alarm this morning. So it's gonna be one of those days, which is fine, but I have some really big news. Um, yesterday, my ring on eBay sold. I'm so incredibly thankful to the person who bought it. Now we have to ship it out and I'm gonna have unexpected fun money. Um, I'm excited to like look into a charity to donate part of it to. And then I think that this timing works out perfectly that I'm going to use my share to do something on my would have been wedding anniversary. So I wanna ship out that ring as soon as possible. I need to find a printer. <laughs> Cause I left my printer in California to print the shipping label. And then we can do our DIYs and stuff around the house. I'm looking forward to it. <laughs> I just routed to the nearest USPS and I almost drove right by it because look at it. It shares an entrance with like a really cute cafe maybe? I kinda wanna like research what this is cause maybe we can get something here. Oh yeah, it's a coffee shop and no, no, no. This is a coffee shop on this side of me. What is this? Oh, it's a restaurant. Caribbean. What? <laughs> Have you ever seen a post office slash really cool Caribbean food restaurant? I haven't. Okay, I'm gonna write my note and we're gonna do this. I'm just gonna put it in the mail and we're not gonna think about it again.
the deed is done. I had the prepaid shipping label, so technically you could just drop it off, but I waited in a 40 minute line just to make sure I did everything okay because like that would be the worst package to get lost in the mail. So I'm honestly, if I tell you how I'm feeling right now, I'm feeling anxious that it will get there okay and just tired, like emotionally tired. It's been a long few days. You know like when you when you get upset in the morning and then the rest of the day you just want to nap? <laughs> I'm proud of myself and I am excited to go try our couple little um, home improvement projects. So let's go do it. <laughs> First it wasn't working and I was like, oh, it's a flop. And then I just realized I put a battery in backwards. Look at that, look at that good light. Wow, I can do something really artsy with that. But for now, let's turn it off. But I'm gonna put it up for, oh, oh, it just turned on. I guess the motion sensor does work. Okay. So it only peels from this end, which makes from some hard math. And I'm kind of nervous to cut this. And I think I want this to start right about here. So maybe I will loop this around twice. Oh, it's not very sticky. Oh, it's not sticky at all. I started this end with a piece of tape because it was not sticking at all. And I might have to, I wrap the tape around the top side of this. You can't see it, but I might have to do that along the length if it all doesn't stick. But I wiped down the underside of this. It's just not like a smooth surface. It's kind of rough. So let's see. Okay, it's sticking actually. It's sticking a lot better than it was. And stick this. Mm, it's kind of long. Maybe, maybe it's fine. Right there. Well, this really saved the day. So maybe before you do this, check on your underside and if it's like this material, it should work. But if it's like a rough wood, you'll need this. But moment of truth, I'm gonna close the doors and turn off the lights and see what it looks like. So let's turn off the closet light. Okay, are we ready? Whoa. Okay, yeah, that's pretty cool. That makes a really cool night light. <laughs> If you go to the bathroom at night, it's like a little lit runway all the way to the toilet. And for our second home project, installing the shoe shelves and organizing my shoes a little bit more, but we're gonna do that montage style. As you could see, my day went a lot better than I planned it and intended it to, which was very much appreciated after this morning and this weekend being pretty hard. I agreed to, uh, my gym does like, you get one personal training session for free because they're trying to rope you into paying for it. <laughs> and I'm absolutely never gonna pay for it, but I went ahead and said yes to the free session because why not? It's free, but this is really just a testament to how I'm trying to like push my comfort zone and say yes to things and why not? What is there to lose? So that's early tomorrow morning and I have a busy work day tomorrow. So early to bed for me tonight, but um, I love y'all. I feel like this was a very emotional vlog looking back. <laughs> Highs and lows and not gonna lie, whenever I share vlogs like this, I get incredibly anxious for them to go live. So um, I don't know, thanks for letting me just show up as I am. And thanks to Equilibria for helping me feel better. I'm so honored and excited that they doubled my discount code for the one-off purchases. So I'll have all that information down below. Yet again, Mikkel Jancy 50 is my code and it is applicable to both the subscription or if you just want to purchase one product. So all that information's down below. I love y'all so much. Thanks for being here and I will see you in another vlog very soon, two days for me. <laughs> Bye. 
So give me a sign. Give me a sign. Oh, give me a sign. Baby, give me a sign. Just give me one more. Talking to you. Here we go again. Staying up all night to see if you've been texting me. Where do we go from here? I wanna go all.